One of the big changes during my working career has been the shift of my field away from being just Greek and Latin centered to taking in more of the languages of the ancient world because there were a whole lot of them that aren't part of the traditional classics curriculum but that have been increasingly been studied in recent decades, Coptic, Syriac, Bactrian, Armenian, Georgian, and so on. As these other languages have come into play, we've discovered that not all the people in the ancient world spoke Greek and Latin, that it was actually a much more complicated place. And that has led to a real transformation in the field in terms of no longer seeing people in terms of neat cultural pigeonholes, this person a Greek, this person an Egyptian, but instead the sense that cultural identity is fluid has kind of taken over the field. Of course, that's very much in keeping with the direction of modern thought, and that alone might be enough to make one worry. But I think it actually is a huge advance in the way we look at antiquity. I'm not sure that anybody goes into a humanities field because it's the humanities. They go into it because they're interested in whatever the subject is. In my case, I happen to like discovering things that other people haven't discovered before, and I like solving problems, puzzling things out, figuring out how things worked. Uh, that happens to get counted as part of the humanities, although it's also partly social sciences, and in fact in archaeology it's also partly natural sciences. So the boundaries between the divisions don't seem to me to be as meaningful as they do to a lot of people. One of the great things about excavating in Egypt is that generally things are very well preserved because it's a very dry country. And so we have a lot of organic remains that often don't survive in other parts of the Mediterranean. That allows for all sorts of interesting things. And from my direction, it's the preservation of written artifacts, papyri and ostrich and so on, wooden tablets even. But it also means that human remains are well preserved and plant remains are well preserved. So we can look at a question like how people were nourished in the ancient world from what's written down about the products that they grew and collected, but also from the products themselves which survive, and from stable isotope analysis of bone collagen which shows us what people were eating over time. So all of these things come together in a way that certainly wasn't possible 20 years ago and that breaks down the boundaries between fields. Music